The default tab that you start in is the designer tab. This is where you design your content, set your sequences, and finally publish your content to be scheduled. You can check out our other videos on creating content on our YouTube channel. For now, I'm going to open a project that's already been completed. We'll go up to the file menu and click publish and choose upload project to server. We'll be prompted to log into the Noventry server here. The host name will be the computer name or IP address of the system you installed Noventry server onto. Since I installed it on this computer with the Noventry digital sign in suite, I can use localhost or my IP address. The default username is admin with a capital A and the password is Noventry, all lowercase. You can choose to have Noventry server remember this password for you by clicking on the checkbox here. Once completed, you can click OK. It may take a few moments to connect with the Noventry server, but once it is complete, your project will be uploaded to the server and ready for you to schedule. Before we start scheduling, we need to make a few adjustments. First, we need to make sure that our player is set up for one of the supported resolutions of our monitor. Click on the Manager tab to the left. This window is where you will be able to see all of the SF100E players that are connected to your network. If we select the player we will be creating a schedule for, you'll notice that the details panel is populated with some important information about the player, such as its status, what content it's currently playing, and what firmware version the player currently has. We can also stop or start playback and reboot the player here if we need to. What we want to do right now is double check that the resolution selected here matches one of the supported resolutions of the display. We also want to make sure the project we publish matches this resolution as well. For best results, try and use the native resolution of the monitor. It'll make it look its best. So this looks good. What we're going to do now is one more bit of housekeeping, and that's to change the default password to make sure our installation is a little bit more secure. So what we're going to do is click on the Configuration button on the toolbar, and then select Permissions button from the toolbar below that. In the Permissions panel, you can add, edit, and remove users, groups, and permissions for the various players on your network. From now, on the left panel, select Admin, and click edit below. Now we can edit the password. And now I'm just going to go ahead and retype the password to verify we have typed it correctly. A small notice on the right here will let you know that your passwords uh, do match. When done, click OK. Now let's go to the schedule panel now and set up a schedule for one of our players. From the project name drop down, I'm going to select the project we published previously. In the sequences panel will be a list of available sequences in the project. Selecting one of the sequence will place an entry in the scheduler panel at the current pointer location on the highlighted day. So if I select Thursday and place the pointer at 9 a.m. and then click the sequence, a colored bar will be placed at our pointer location. From here, we can do several things. Firstly, we can grab the edges and scale the time out or in. You can grab the center of the entry and move it along that day or even between days. For further refinement, you can double click an entry and fine tune the time or date you would like the entry to play. There's a couple quick edit buttons that are available if you would like to repeat certain entries throughout the week. You can also pull sequences from multiple projects if you like by selecting a new project from the drop down and selecting a new sequence. If for instance if you select a sequence that is different resolution than what is currently being scheduled, a notice will appear letting you know what will happen if you proceed. We don't recommend doing this as your projects could come out distorted. Once you're satisfied with the schedule, select your player, if you have an SF100E connected to your network, and press the Assign to Player or Group button. Now, if we move over to the Managers panel, we can see that our player is receiving our schedule. While we wait for the scheduled contents to start, we can look at some of the other features of the Manager Client. These buttons along the top allow you to view your players differently. You can see what player groups you have set up. You can even see what players are stopped or disconnected. And for those who want all the information at once, can view a list of players in text format here. If we click back to the Locations button, we can see that our update is complete and the player is playing our content. And that will bring our product walkthrough to a close. I want to thank you on behalf of the Noventry team for downloading the Noventry digital signage suite in Noventry server. I would also like to encourage you to visit our forums regularly for any updates or even if you have any comments, questions, or feedback on the software. Thanks again.